Okay, highlights from uh, Wednesday, June 6th. U.S. Steel, the letter X is, these are 15 minute candles. I'm not showing today's trading yet. Um, I had this on watch. I liked it over yesterday afternoon's high at 1931. If it got there, well, today it gapped up, okay, as did everything just about. So going to five minute candles here. Um, originally, I just said a high of day break could work with a low of day stop after it looked like this. In other words, 1966, worst case stop, I think 1940. And there's the high of day break. Um, I also gave a secondary entry, and that, that certainly held all day, but I gave, see this little tail right here? I gave a secondary entry using two minute candles, all right? Um, I, I can't remember if I had the projector on for our members or not, but I basically said, hey, this pullback on twos, first break of a previous two minute candles high. For those that didn't like the other entry, this is a very clean pullback. 1965 trigger, 1959 stop, and uh, that's a better risk reward than the high of day, low of day deal. That was, um, six cents risk I'll tell you what I'll do I'll just bring the results page um, so you can see them here uh, US Steel 1965 went to 2017 52 cents a share on only a uh, six cents risk if you notice the next one uh, Dollar General right here DG 47.93 entry 48.95 stop uh, moved over a dollar in our favor um, I'm gonna try to show you after the results here I'm gonna try to show you the ideas uh, the reasons for the entry, okay? Um, Dollar General on the daily. Okay, I liked uh, the fact, let's take today's candle out of it. What did you have? You had a gap down, a weak stock that closed near its lows. Then today, everyone who's short this thing, it opens above yesterday's high. I mean, that's a pro gap right there. Very interesting and uh, definitely in the longs favor. So when it looked like this, it was interesting to me. I switched to two minute candles, turned on the projector, showed it to the room and gave my verbal idea over this base I believe I said 4793 or 94 or something like that worst case stop about 20 cents below and there's the trigger uh, the stop holds and uh, just kept grinding higher all day let's go back to five to see it um, from 4793 went to 4895 on about 20 cents risk that didn't stop out what's next um, racks we had two calls in racks if you notice the first one and this is why this video is entitled uh, volume and passion are a gift in this market. All right, Rax is a good example of that right here. The first call was at 45.28, went to 46 on only 18 cents risk, and I'll explain the entry here. Okay, Rax, and this is what I mean by volume and passion are a gift. You know, we're clicking around trying to find some ideas. Uh, this is also why I like to trade individual stocks versus ETFs um, because no matter what, even if the market's boring, you might get a stock that's doing this and gives a nice opportunity. Okay, I'll show you the reason for the call. Um, REX, okay, in a good sell-off, great volume, went out on the daily and saw that it was, uh, he had the 200-day moving average there and a nice long base here right, right around that 45 area, okay? So there's a few reasons this might bounce. All right, and this is what it looked like. Whenever I have um, five-minute candles and they're all about the same size, and what do you notice right here? This one about twice as long as some of these preceding it on the most volume yet okay there's a little trick I use whenever I have this scenario alright this is a um, I mean it's a poster child for volume and passion right also liked the daily in this area okay what I like to do when you get this longer one on the biggest volume yet I like to switch to two minute candles okay now let's scroll back over and I'm looking to go long the first break of a previous two minute candles high okay so the high of this little candle here 4527 so we know the idea is 4528 if it gets there and I had this on the projector and each new candle that started I would tell the room what the high of that candle was 4527 so everyone would know the trigger is 4528 there's the trigger worst case stop goes below these two candles at 4510 okay so 18 cents risk you can choose your position size accordingly and man pretty quickly remember these are two minute candles so in about uh, what 12 14 16 minutes it's all the way up to 46 uh, very very nice move there and then let's talk about the other racks call that I made racks look like this okay I like the fact that after this bounce it came back down but sellers could not push it back to lows of the day all right it gave me put in a higher low so these are clues all right there's the low of the day this time it puts in a higher low 
um, and it comes up to the falling 520 okay this is the 20 period moving average five minute candles and then this is an area where you might expect sellers to come in again this little red candle I view that as sellers okay so here's my thinking if they fail in other words they can't push it down I like it over these recent highs okay 45 I believe 4562 was my idea worst case stop 4546 uh, so you're looking at 16 cents risk there's the trigger 15 minutes later it's uh, up to 4629 I mean again m more profit in you know in your pocket on very very low risk um, and then what was the other one here Oh, SCSS kind of the same thinking here uh, if you traded today you saw this thing and T Tempur-Pedic just get killed SCSS one of our members Raju pointed out to me when it looked like this um, he said what about an RBI here which stands for red bar ignored um, in other words between the 58 and 520 this is an area on a weak stock where you would expect sellers to come in again I view this red candle as sellers right so over this candle I agreed with Raju that this could get a nice pop however I said you could find a better way in here by playing it on a fives entry in other words now you have a high a lower high if they can't push this down much farther I want to go along the first break of a previous fives high and it's holding pretty well here okay now if it was all the way back down here it wouldn't be that interesting but it's, it's still uh, sellers aren't having much success okay so the first break of a previous fives high this is a combination of Raju's idea and my idea all right there's the trigger 2082 worst case stop goes below this candle 2040 and pretty quickly through that red bar um, that Raju was talking about and from 2082 this thing gets all the way to 2251 dollar 69 in our favor um, on a 42 cents risk I think it was and it ended up rolling over late in the day but not before there was plenty of money to be made so there's some highlights and some explanations and hopefully a little bit of a uh, inside view into my brain as to why I call what I call and uh, hopefully you can see that we really try to focus on low risk entries and uh, to jump on the winning side when it makes sense. All right, have a good night. We'll talk to you later.